Well, first of all, mm. I'm Pat. I'm Regina. And people call us the grannies on safari. Because sometimes they get confused which is which. <laughs> <laughs> And we've just been on the Trans-Siberian Railroad for 16 days, and the whole month of September, actually. Uh, fabulous. One of the best trips I've ever had. The longest railroad journey in the world. Very long. Across, oh gosh, a fourth of the, of the whole Earth, really. From Moscow to Beijing, including Siberia and Mongolia. How many miles? 6,000 plus. Going on the Trans-Siberian Railroad is like taking one of your dream trips up for your entire life. It's a life-changing thing, if you ask me. All places were very new, vibrant, and unexpected in many ways, right? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Well, we went to a wonderful performance at one of the National Theater sites in Ulaanbaatar and witnessed a production that was filled with color, great beauty, wonderful music, and several traditions of music and dance. You know, we saw some animals on this trip. You know, I'm the animal person. I mean, I, right? I like my animals. We saw yaks. Bacterian uh, camels, double hump camels, I always have to say that. And you know what else we saw? We saw goats, real cashmere goats. And I have to tell you, I, I did even try to chase a yak. I wanted to get close to one. He was kind of a funky Yeah, they're yak. a little mangy. They're not very attractive animals. And I got to ride on, well, not ride too far, on one of the Mongolian ponies, which I'd already she seen. She had a picture opportunity on... <laughs> It wasn't horse. a picture opportunity. It was a picture opportunity, I gotta admit. Thank you. Because these uh, ponies, Mongolian yeah, ponies, yeah. don't like just anybody. And frankly, I was a little bit you know, afraid that he would sturdy. take off. You know, and I was glad that the guy helped me with it. It was fun. The food when you're traveling on the Trans-Siberian train was really good. But they cook it out of this really small, narrow train car. Sometimes you see someone sitting on a barrel just kind of peeling potatoes and things. But I don't know how they got everything out so fresh every day with that Chef Oleg. It was good. Exactly. And there were no microwaves. I was startled to find that out. Mm -hmm. Everything was wonderful. One of the things they had us do is to go through a vodka tasting. And they started with the least expensive to the most expensive. I did not know that there were so many different grades of vodka. I tried them all, but... Uh... Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the high points to our trip to Beijing was a discovery we made with the help of our guide to a district called District 798, an arts district filled with fantastic art galleries, small shops, uh, eating establishments, but more than anything else, an energy and a uh, pulse of creativity that we had seen in very few other places in the world. The Great Wall of China is one of the wonders of the man-made world, I think at least. And then you look and you say, oh heck no, I'm not climbing all that way <laughs> because it's all the way up. And I'm, you know, I'm a climber, aren't I? Yes, you are a yeah. climber, but it's a little intimidating and it is steep. But it's a wonderful visual experience as well. And that's why it's one of the man-made wonders right. of the world. Don't miss the Great Wall of China. So what's next for us? Oh, God. oh my gosh, we've got so much going for us. <laughs> well, lately, when we're not traveling, we're writing. We just have gotten a new assignment on Huffington Post as bloggers. You know, we also write for, of course, AARP. We've got a lot of blogs where we've talked about places we've been to, experiences we have. And, you know, we were just recently at the AARP members event in Los Angeles. We want to say thank you to all the people that came to see us. It was nice to meet our fans. It turned out really nice. You want to tell them about Flat Stanley? This yes. is so cool. This is so cool. Well, for those of you who have children, you may have heard of the Flatter World. It's the world of Flat Stanley. And we are one of the first celebrity. The first <laughs> celebrity character. Everybody else is flat. Well, we're not really flat. Well, though, we? no. But we're part of that establishment now mm -hmm. on Flat Stanley. So check us out on their website as well. Last but not least, our book writing. Oh, our book. We have to yes. tell you about our photo book. Two books. Two books. Yeah, we do. One is our children's book called, called the, the Search for Java Lani's Family. You can get it on Amazon. And the other one that's coming out the 1st of December. Our photo journal book, 
which is an exciting compilation of about 150 photographs from all of our journeys. Check our website and we'll let you know if it's going to be on Amazon.com, which we're working towards. you got to see this book. So as you can see, we've been busy traveling and writing. We're all over the place. So keep looking for us. And we'll keep looking for you on Facebook and Twitter. Ciao. Ciao.